And in this time that we all face around the world, this great challenges brought on by this pandemic, there is nothing more important than community. Ano ai kako, aloha. My name is Makana, and I am here on the east side of the beautiful island of Oahu, where I was born and raised here in Hawaii. Usually, this time of year, I would be somewhere else in a plane, in an airport, backstage at a venue, on stage at a theater, or even on a neighboring island playing for a baby luau or a Christmas party. But not this year. So much has changed. And for each of us in our own way, life is very different. In some ways, it's sad because we are creatures of habit and we long for normality, regularity, and the familiar, especially this time of year. I'm used to being away from the people I love because of my work. And so for me, being able to be home and not having to travel right now is a blessing. It's not something I'm used to and I'm taking a lot of time to reconnect with what's important to me that I usually have not had the time for. One of those things is reconnecting with my culture and the traditions of ancient Hawaii. This time of year for Hawaiians is called Makahiki. Makahiki is a celebration and ongoing feasts that are in honor of one of the gods in the Hawaiian pantheon named Lono. He's also referred to as Lono Ika Makahiki. Lono happens to be the god of many things, including fertility, agriculture, which of course brings us our food, and so there's a lot of feasting around this time, rainfall, music, which of course I'm very happy about to honor him, and peace. And what's so amazing about Makahiki, in the ancient times, for eight months of the year, the god Ku, the god of war, was honored and war would occur in different parts of the islands. But during Makahiki, there is no war. Not only is there no war, there is essentially no labor except for essential labor. And so I find it incredible, the parallels of what this pandemic has brought in terms of shutting down so much of what we're used to and putting us in a space that is not unlike the space that Hawaiians of old would celebrate during Makahiki. So with this perspective, I encourage you to discover a new way of celebrating this time of year with your family, without your family, wherever you are. Reconnect with where your food comes from, with your vision for peace, and with the idea that the most important thing in the world is community, because that's what Makahiki was all about, rebuilding community. And in this time that we all face around the world, this great challenges brought on by this pandemic, there is nothing more important than community. So with that, I'd like to share this song inspired by that vision, the vision of Makahiki. It's a song that I composed called Hawaii's Song. Living life the olden way, we grow the food we eat. Makua plants, na keiki play. Aina beneath our feet, Aina is the land. Makahiki long. Na By us stands upon the shore, throwing his net to feed the fishermen. He catches fish, but never more than what his family needs and the new fish spawn. In the So 
Hello friends, my name is Enrique Quiroz and I'm from Catrina's Corazón. This year has been very challenging. This um, pandemic has affected us very much and we haven't been able to um, do all the activities that we normally do with Day of the Dead, with the celebration of Christmas and all of our activities have been um, transferred to the digital and to the social media. This has been very challenging due to um, COVID-19 and we have been struggling uh, monetary and creatively because we have to be doing everything digital and uh, keeping the social distancing. And right now we're just uh, trying to do, um, for example, with uh, piñatas, we have been trying to do some workshops, digital with media. And um, right now we did a brief tutorial with Telemundo and workshops with friends and family that I want to create these things for Christmas. Um, in Mexico we celebrate Posadas and obviously this year we won't be able to do that partying and all that celebration for Christmas. So yes, um, thank you for all your help, all your support and we will um, be happy to see you again uh, shortly, I'm sure. And um, that's it. Thank you very much. And follow us on our social media, Catrinas.Corazon, in Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. And we also do a little merge with uh, Catrinas Corazon with our um, cooking skills with uh, Gorditeria Guanajuato. And hopefully you follow our YouTube channel as well. Thank you. I'm Janina Norpoff. And I'm John Paul Norpoff, and we're coming to you live from Brooklyn, New York. Like many of you, we've had a little bit of extra time to hang out and play music together. I guess that's been the upside of <laughs> much disastrous year that 2020 has been. Um, many months ago, as things were shutting down, 
I received a really lovely gesture from a friend, um, which was the gift of a piece of music for violin and bass by an amazing colleague, composer, and bassist named Andres Martin. Uh, it was really meaningful at the time as everything was shutting down to have this piece um, to inspire just getting the violin out of the case because it just felt so pointless as who knew when we were going to be able to perform live again. So fast forward to um, the holiday time of year, it felt appropriate to take this gift and perform it. Furthermore, it is called Resilientes, which means resilience, which I think is very aptly titled for what we've all needed to tap into over the past year. So please enjoy Resilientes by Andres Martin.
Hola, mi nombre es Tatiana Crespo y soy de Costa Rica. Saludos a todos los ticos en sus casas celebrando este diciembre y estos festejos. Yo pues vivo en, en Arizona y he estado viviendo aquí en Estados Unidos por un tiempo y siempre para estos, estos tiempos en diciembre me toca reflexionar y pensar en todas las tradiciones y las fiestas en Costa Rica y extrañándolas mucho. Y una de mis cosas favoritas eh, siempre era las fiestas de Nochebuena, que siempre hacíamos una carne asada y nos quedábamos despiertos hasta medianoche para ver juegos de pólvora con toda la familia, con mi abuela, mi abuelo, mis tíos, mis tías y mis primos, mi mamá, mi hermano. Así que escribí una canción que se llama Moravia, que es eh, el lugar donde vivíamos, donde celebramos todas estas fiestas. Pero antes de eso, me gustaría cantarles mi villancico favorito, que es Los peces en el río. Así que lo disfruto, se lo dedico a toda mi familia y a todas las familias en casa. La Virgen se está peinando Moravia. Bienvenida a los 
dijo al espejo en el baño Ya más de diez años han pasado Desde que te vi en el patio Cuántas fiestas celebramos En el balcón carne asada y ron Festejos nunca olvidados Se han guardado en mi corazón Y ahora me encuentro tan lejos Del pollito asado y café Tamalitos navideños Chirro, pope y café Hoy me encuentro sola Que terminada a regresar A esos festejos bonitos Música buena y aquel hogar En Moravia ay, 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 ay. En Moravia a pesar, caminando, hablando, contemplando, tertuleando y soñando con un gran y nuevo hogar. Nos pasábamos los días solitarios viendo tele en el caso con el eco infernal, esperando ansiosamente día a día que llegara el muchacho de su viaje invernal. La memoria ya se en la nostalgia bien abriga, la razón de que nos fuimos a pesar, la razón de que nos fuimos a pesar, la razón de que nos fuimos a pesar. Solo quiero recordar. La pachanga birra fría y el portal de quiero regresar a la lancha, a la playita y el agua crema. Recordar la pachanga birra fría y el portal de quiero regresar a la lancha, birra fría y el agua de mar. Ya quiero regresar a la lancha, a la playita y el agua de mar. Recordar la pachanga, birra fría y el portal. Ya quiero regresar a la lancha, a la playita, lancha, a la playita, lancha, a la playita y el agua de mar. 